the uh, one of the later morning sessions is going to be on um, smart energy and storage. Um, let me start that again. It's not a morning yeah. session. <laughs> um, one of the afternoon sessions is going to be on smart energy and storage, and again that demonstrates the fact that Renewable UK Cymru is now um, representing a much wider group of technologies than was the case previously. And to kick that off, we've got Roger Hay, who's uh, been leading a project for Western Power Distribution about smart energy networks. And uh, South Wales is a leader in the smart energy networks field. And um, it's going to be very interesting to hear about the project that's been carried out there and what that demonstrates for the potential for the local grid and some of the benefits that will arise to um, all, all sectors of the economy from that. Next up, we have Charles Perkis from ITM Power. Um, and they're one of the uh, leading players for the hydrogen uh, technology, the hydrogen economy in the UK and they've just opened a branch in Wales called ITM Motive um, so they're going to be describing some of the uh, benefits and, and potentially some of the challenges for the hydrogen sector in the UK. Um, we have Paul Jones from the Specific Project which is um, a highly uh, innovative technical and academic research project taking place in South Wales and uh, the objective of that project is to look at innovative ways of producing energy uh, for heating and for, um, for electricity. And so he's going to be talking about uh, creating the building which produces all the energy it needs just from its own surroundings. And we've also got Mick Barlow from S&C Electric. Um, and this is a company which has a huge interest in energy storage technologies. And so he'll be updating us about the latest in, in what S&C are doing on that topic. And chairing that session, we're privileged enough to have Jane Forshaw, who's the Director of Environment at Cardiff Council. And uh, Cardiff is, is trying to forge a trail as a leader in uh, the renewable energy sector uh, amongst local authorities. So we're very pleased that she'll be running the rule over that group. Mm -hmm.